This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what does the small white circle do when using blur with Dynamesh? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo anime head here loaded in. And the question is asking about the white circle that's on the blur slider in the Dynamesh palette. So if we come over to the tool menu over here and then go to geometry and then go down to Dynamesh, here you can see we have our Dynamesh options here. And then here we have this blur slider. Now the question is asking about this little tiny white circle that is on the blur slider. And if you come across this little circle and you click, you can change this from an open circle to a closed circle. Now the blur slider will determine how much smoothness a model will receive when Dynamesh. And this little circle here will determine which algorithm is going to be applied when using the blur. Now if the circle is closed, you're going to receive an algorithm that is less aggressive. And then if it is open, you're going to receive an algorithm that is more aggressive. So if you want the blur to be stronger, keep the circle open. If you want it to be not as strong, keep it closed. Now as an example of this, if you have a model that has Dynamesh active, you're going to be able to change the slider and you're going to see the results in real time. So here with the anime head, I'm just gonna change my resolution down to 128 and then click enter. And then I'm just gonna hold control and click off the model like this to re-dynamesh. So you'll see the model has been re-dynameshed with that resolution of 128. And now that I have this dynamesh active in my scene here, I can now come over to this blur slider and start changing this. So if I start changing my blur slider, you're gonna see my model is gonna start forming that smoothness or that blur. And since I have not done any sculptural marks to this model, I can change this back and forth and I can see what the model will look like with 100% blur or even 0%. And I can change the slider to see these effects happening in real time. So right now I'm changing this blur with the circle being closed. So you can see at 100%, this is the result I'm getting. So it's smoothing out the Dynamesh, but it's still retaining some of those details. So I can still see the area around the ear, the nose, and even some of the mouth. And changing the slider over here is going to determine how much of that smoothness is going to be applied. Now let's come over here and change the circle from that closed white circle to an open white circle. So I'm coming over here and click, and now it is open. Now when this circle is open, you're going to get a more aggressive blur or smooth applied to your mesh. So if I come over here now to the blur slider and change this, you're going to see that that blur is going to affect that model quite a bit. So at 100% with that white circle open, you can see I now have this result. So that ear is now being completely smooth. I have no more mouth showing up. The nose has been shrunken down and the eyes have been smoothed out as well. And if I change my slider here, you can see I can go back to the original and then go all the way back to that 100%. So the open version of that circle, not the closed version, is going to give you a more aggressive blur or smooth on your model. And then once again, you can change this back to close and then I can change the slider and see the difference as well. So that is the quick rundown on what the little white circle on the blur slider is doing inside of ZBrush. So if the circle is closed, you're gonna get a less aggressive smoothing. And then if the circle is open, you're going to get a more aggressive smoothing. So I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.